Over here, Dark to Zomino, you need to enjoy. Shalom, first and foremost, we like to give all praises, all and an all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Harakakodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means he to be here exists. Bahashem is in the name. Yahushai is only begotten Savior Son, the Holy God, because Lord and Jesus Christ, his name is Yahushai. He delivered, he saved you. These are the powers that we serve. These are the powers that we come in the name of. These are the powers that we're going to ascribe greatness to. Right, so this is the um, continuation of um, the book. Well, we're going into the, the three holy children, right? But we are reading from Daniel chapter three. We stopped at verse 15. We're going to continue. We're going to pick up. We're going to re revise verse 15 and revisit it. And um, then we're going to move forward. All right, because uh, uh, the essence of, this, of, of us going through this is that we need as men of the Lord and hey, some women that listen and follow in sincerity and in truth, right? We need to have the faith of Daniel and these three holy children, right? Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Azariah, Mishael, and Hananiah, right? We need to have faith. And we went into those to those three names. Those three names, they, 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 they all, even Daniel, glorify for Daniel, 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 Allah, right? Dan, Daniel. Sorry, no, yeah, it goes into praise of the Lord, right? Um, somebody can bring that out, break the uh, go into the name Daniel and its meaning, right? Go, um, these, these, we, the, the things, the times that we're going into, everything is going to be to the glory of Yahweh Shemi The fact that prophecies come into pass, the fact that, uh, the fact that, uh, the elect going to be glorified. You should just say in the land where we put to shame, where we have been put to shame, right? You're going to get um, fame and glory. The fact that the scripture said that um, in the land where they said, you are not my people, there shall it be said, ye are the sons of the living power, right? All to the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. This is, this is a power that has a certain people that he has chosen to be his favorite, to be his love or beloved and loved. He said, Jacob have I love and he so have I hated. All right? So you're not going to love something and treat it bad. Yeah? Right? If you love something, you're also going to chasten and correct it. Someone, right? The scripture say, uh, what's what son? What father had a son and he didn't um, chasten him or correct him? If you love him, if you don't chasten or correct you, it's because you're a bastard. Uh, and that's what an illegitimate son. Right? And that's Esau. Right, so in this kingdom, Esau is not has not been chastened or corrected for his wickedness because he's illegitimate. But the day of judgment is at hand. The scripture talks about it in, in Lamentations chapter four, that rejoice, O Edom, right? Because the, the cup they're gonna drink from that cup. So rejoice now, but they're gonna drink from that cup. Because when they think to put all holy hell upon Israel in these last times, yeah, how about Shem Shai? Is going to raise a standard to deliver them from from that hell right we need time so this is why we're revisiting these stories All right so um you'll take over i'll receive can uh, let me continue from from verse 15 so you can read it i can do the reading this is daniel chapter 3 picking up from verse 15 now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye shall fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace and who is that power that shall deliver you out of my hands verse 16 yeah, so the same Shedra. now hold on all right so the same the same thing very very reading here right is the same thing Esau gonna come down with right somebody could get get revelation 13 and verse 15. Yeah.
Mais oui, j'en t'ai dit. Daily image, daily image, daily image, daily image, image that he, he, he set up. You know, he told, he told which, Daniel, yeah. you know, when, once these songs blow, all you had about to the image, about to the gods, you know, I set up, you know. Go ahead. 39.50, right? Yeah. Right, it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Can right under the same thing, right? Can we told we told Shadrach, Shad and Meshach and Abednego, if you don't want to bow down to this image, you know, you're hey, gonna be thrown into the furnace, right? And daily, daily times, you know, hey, we come in into right where we had to put trust in your Basham, your Shai, because they. These, these men and them had faith in them. They know the power would deliver them because they put a trust in your Basham, your Shai. And that's what we had to do. We had to have our faith, that confidence to know that the Lord will deliver. Yeah, right? the even, though, even though, even though, can, even though death come, hey, what we was promised, we're going to find life in your Shai. Right? The leg don't die, they just fell asleep on it. Where you always said? Right? Just as his son was risen, he's gonna risen, he's gonna risen, we're gonna be risen too. So we had our faith in your Basham Yosha and trust him. Right? It continue. The Daniel. All right. This Daniel chapter 3, verse 16. Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Can and they say, what, what, what will Peter them to do? He say, Are we ought to obey men rather than God? We ain't fear you. We fear the living poor. You had to fear the man who could kill both body and soul. Fear your Abasham, your shy. So these men, stood the, these men stood the ground. Go ahead. This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 19. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how. Or what he shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what he shall speak. So we're not supposed to be wondering. I wonder what I will say at that time, boy, and trying to prepare any any speech or anything. The Heavenly Father say at that hour, the Spirit is going to speak to us and going to tell us exactly what to say. So when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego responded to the king. We are not careful to answer thee in this matter. They were simply telling them, we ain't, we ain't basically, we ain't had no speech or no proper words to say, you know, at the end of the day. This is what our power requires of us, and this is what we're going to do. They didn't take any thought because it's the king. I, I want to say the right thing to the king, you know, not to upset him. They was more focusing on doing the will of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Can fast precept for um for Brother Abanaya, we going on into this is the book of um Psalm chapter 118, verse 9. I read it it's better to trust in Yahweh than put confidence in princes. Um, I finish what we going on to the next verse, so we still expounding on verse 16. Did you all um did you all went into the word careful? Oh, yes. Go ahead now. You all hear me? Can we 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 hear any? I hear any. All right, um, this is what I'm careful. Strong's H two eight one eight Kashak. Kash, 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 Ach. To need to have need the thing it needed. Um, Sean's definition in the sense of readiness to be necessary from the idea of convenience to be to need of um, trans transitively to need or careful to have need of have need of. Right. So in other words, they were saying.
Moving on, moving on, we're on. You wanna hear me? No, we didn't hear anything else. All right, all right. Well, the word careful means I have need of, right? So they have no, they had no need of because it's the scripture said they said they were not careful, so they had no need of being careful, right? No need of being cautious, no need of being afraid, because they had total trust in their power. You have a shy, right? The power you have to deliver them. You have a shy here and about appearing in the fullness with them. Go ahead. Verse 17 now. Daniel chapter 3, verse 17. If it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Can't. The Lord hand is not short. You know, that he may not, that he can deliver us out of the Lord. The Lord have great, wonderful um, things where He delivers us from before. So this is this is just one one of the things, you know. And they they were actually showing confidence in the Lord too. That no matter, don't matter what you do, you could have sent you could have sent away in fire. You could have put us in any difficult situation. You could have dropped we from a mountain. The Lord hand is not sure that that He cannot deliver. Um, I have a precept here. Right? This is 1 Samuel 17, verse 37. David said, Moreover, Yahweh that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and Yahweh be with thee. So when you look at the three Hebrew boys, when they answered King Nebuchadnezzar with that degree, that degree of confidence, because men, righteous men who came before them had testimonies where the Heavenly Father delivered them from similar situation. Situation that was otherwise deemed hazardous to one's health. So if the Heavenly Father could deliver David from the paw of a lion and the paw of a bear, how much more would he deliver Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the flames of the fiery furnace? How much more he would deliver his elect from the hand that he saw? <laughs> right, I'm gonna try to read from the um, I'm gonna try to read from the NLT. I hope it'll cut me out again because I read it from the same device. All right, so you always tell me if you're stopping me, right? Um. This is um, the NLT Daniel 3, 3 and 16. Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, Oh Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. You see. Done. <laughs> All right. So, so that that remind me of um this scripture real quick. Let me come back. Let me come back. Yeah. Right. Hold on, real quick. Yeah. Let me go to Samuel's. Who oh, Samuel? Sorry, no, Samuel. Samuel. Um. Right. This is Samuel chapter one. So, sorry, son, first Samuel chapter 17 and verse boom 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 boom. We get to the point. Verse 45. It says, Then said, then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear. In the name, um, coming to me with a sword and a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of of the Lord Yahweh of hosts, the power of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defiled. Right? And it's the same chant and um, the same chant David had. Right back then is that you know that the giant back then was, was Goliath. The giant today is Esau. Mm -hmm. You know? God. The giant today is Esau. Esau seems big. The scripture talk about him as a Pharaoh and his armies and his horses and his chariots, what many, right? What David say? It says, "This day the Lord will deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee and take the head, take thine head from thee, and I will give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto, unto the what, unto the fowls of the air, and the wild beasts of the earth, 
that all the earth may know that there is a power in Israel, right? So, you know, um, that brings me to what? Psalms 9 and 17, right? That that all the earth, when you say what? That all the earth may know that there's a power in Israel because these nations, they forget the Hamashim and Oshai. They forget that the Israelites have a power, right? Because Esau has a rule in the region. Esau has a rule on the lies to get that what? They are the Edomites, they, sorry, they are the Israelites, and we are just nobodies, right? Where's our heritage? Where's our lineage? And as a hypocrisy, he saw, he saw, he saw sits, he saw sits up there in his seat, right? Of power or authority, right? They use the Bible or abuse the Bible, right? But the words of the Bible, they don't uphold. What about nations that written about in the Bible? What about the scripture that says that there's no um, end of a nation, right? Yeah. So if there's no end of a nation, who are the Edomites and who are the true Edomites and who are the, where the rest of the tribes of Israel? Daniel 9 and 17, the wicked shall be turned into hell and the nations that forget God or forget power. For the needy shall not always be forgotten and the expectation of the poor shall, shall not perish forever. Arise, O Yahweh, and let that man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Yahweh, that the nations may know themselves to be but men and not gods, not powers. There's one power that ruleth in the heavens and in the earth, and his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Um, I have a precept, Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 8. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith Yahweh. So when you look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego standing in that confidence, right? Scripture also says, the name of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and is saved. The Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted in Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, that they knew, and they said with confidence, that if it be Yahweh's will to deliver them, he is going to deliver them. They didn't stutter. They was confident in that. And if he decide, hey, this is all your faith or this is all you have to go through, then so be his will. And we too in this time pertaining where we are, we are dealing with our enemy right now, Esau, Edom, we have to have that confidence because when he is going to enforce his decree <laughs> pertaining to the MOTB, you're going to see your place in a position is either your stand for Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, or you or you give in to the pressures of the system. So all of us will face that situation that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego face. The question is, is how much of us is going to stand on the side of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, come what may, as opposed to those who are going to choose the easy way out, which is going along with the system. <coughs> <coughs> If anybody anything else to add before I go to the next verse, this evening. Yeah, so they they they, they, they kind of feed we had a show, right? You know, because they didn't worry about you know whether they had to see because they know they have backup, they know the power live it, you know, and he's the ultimate power. And the same thing with I think it was Elijah Elisha, right? And his servant. When 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 he see all you know the the the, the the I think it was the Philistines and them, and his servant get frightened, but the he, he, he didn't get frightened because he know he paused with him. He was already seen it already. He already seen he had backup, right? Man. And he asked the Lord to open the eyes of the young man and he see the chariots, right? So he said, "Rock and these these Hebrew boys know he, the power live it and they know they have backup. So we in business. We could we we we, we talking. We mind. We care about you." Right, <laughs> they kind of feed them, them and they put a trust in your basham. We ain't care about you, and they why the scriptures say, Um, be not afraid of the king of Babylon because they are more with us than it be with them. Um, right, we ain't fear. And what deliver them, boys? I have a quick precept here. There's um, wisdom of Solomon 9 and verse 18. He said, For so the ways of them which live on the earth were reformed. And men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee. 
and was saved through wisdom. Right? Mm. They were they they were just men. They are holy law. Um. And they were saved through the faith, through, through wisdom. They don't put a trust in your Abasham and Shai. You know? So you can, you can imagine that. that. Not even my he, not even my hair from the skin was burnt. There wasn't even coming out. There wasn't even smelling like smoke. <laughs> Our precept here. Jeremiah chapter 15, verses 20 and 21. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall. And they shall fight, ag fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, saith Yahweh. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. And we see that with the true Hebrew boys. Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. And as you rightly said, Ak, not even a hair on the head was singed. The clothes was even smelling as smoke. We serve a power. We could be cast in the middle of a furnace. Fire blazing all around. And not even the, the, the smoke could cling to the clothes. That's to tell you how powerful our power is. Yeah, and that's why sometimes I, I, I always see well, in, the, in the kingdom, when we, we can get the playbacks to see how somehow remarkable some of these things was. You know, like yeah. when you look know, at the sea. You know how remarkable it was see and he sees the water stand up like a wall and you know it passing through. Them these things are remarkable, you understand? And and that is the power that we serve in. Damn. I have a couple for you real quick. This is um Genesis chapter 17 and 1. And Abraham was 90 years old and nine. And the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. When you look at the word Almighty, it's Shadia. Shadia. Strong's H7706. Almighty. Most powerful. Shadia. The Almighty of God. All right? It says to deal violently with the spoil. This is the root word. Shadad violently destroyed a sail devastator, assault to be devastated, to oppress rubber, spoil, waste. Right? So this is this is the terrible demon-like power that the nations once knew and fear. If Esau okay. remember the Pharaoh, right, he wouldn't be running up and running up against the, um, the children of Israel here in his last days. But they don't remember. Right? Because the Lord has been quiet and he thought that the Lord was such an one with him. And then he also is, 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 is thinking not a right, as the scriptures say, right? Thinking not a right, you know. He thinks that he is a God, sitting in the seat of God, and he is that power, but he's not. He's deceived. The most I have been a trick back, right? So uh, just going back to what Quar I was bringing up, Quar I was talking about that faith. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, I was holding that. I was holding that for waiting until you were done to wait. Go ahead. You, you sure you can bring it up? So now I'll explain. No, go ahead. I I was reading down because it's from it's from six. Go down my way. Right. And I just said to the point, right? So I bring it up. Uh, he was that nine six, but without faith is impossible to please him, for he commit to. For he that cometh to God, for without you hear my better now. For without play for Salakia, he was eleven verse six. For without faith it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. So, you know, this is what the elect here doing, or the hopefully elect the elect. We hopeful, we don't know for sure. Many are called chosen a few. Right, so in all humanity and faith, we continue to say they hopefully left. Right, that's what they do. We, what we are, what the scripture say, say, he that cometh, so we come to him, you know, we come to him. No, we come to you. How all the time we was in the world, we serve different idols, different powers, different um, 
um, um, ideologies, and it was all in vain because they were what it was for naught. You know, now we so when you and living power, he's saying that you need to have faith. You know that after you do all this work, he he didn't bring you into this to destroy you in that type of violent way. But that mm -hmm. violent rat is is preserved for the wicked, and these other nations. You know, so that what what is presented in front of you is gonna is is gonna is gonna be a threat to your carnal, but know that your spirit is which belongs to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai must not be violated and. A way of violating the spirit is by putting that MOTB in here, which is the RFID micro C hip. Right? Uh -huh. It says uh -huh. uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. Right? So not all men have faith. You know? Faith, faith was according to what? Um, if Ecclesiastes, Sirach chapter chapter one and verse fourteen, it says that uh, faith faith was given to the righteous from the womb, uh, right? Uh, Not all men have faith. Men 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 see with the with the carnal eyes. So you know when we watch the other Israelite camps that out there, we see them with sticks. We see them um, make other carnal implications to the scriptures. We know that they they off. Huh. Because you know, you know, it's like you have to defend yourself. You have to always get your leg back. You have to always be right. No, we come into this to be broken down and be built back up. The ship that says, "What my strength is made perfect in your weakness." What is your strength in this world? The fact that you think that you can do it all by yourself. Yeah, you even have men who are deceived thinking that they, they because the scripture says, "Um, ye are gods," and they read and they understand certain things in the scriptures. You know, you're thinking that the, the train one is you. You remember that bug out that bug out I was dealing with last week? You know? The three in one, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is you. Right? The spirit, the spirit, you know, and, and everything is it, it, yes, it, it, it's in you, right? But it doesn't make you um I, I mean you're gonna be conformed to the image of the son, which the scripture says that he is a he was a power in the beginning, John one and one, one down, so verse four, right? But there's but there's a physical power. Yes, you're emulating him, but there's a, there there are powers in the heavens that need to be revered. Yeah, Hawa uh -huh. and Yahweh Shai. They need to be revered. You know, there's order, every man to his lot. Right? So even when, when they deal with bug outside like that, they see where the Lord choose the illusion. These because these men are, are, are highly deluded in inside the truth and outside of the truth. Uh -huh. You know, those who have eyes to see will see. But in that uh, day, a stick, a stick, a stick, a stick, a sword is not gonna save you against Esau and Edom. Esau and Edom, um, they, they, their their blessing was the sword. They have swords that you don't even understand yet. We we, we, we um the population has been bombarded with frequencies on a daily basis. That's a weapon. Esau uh, weaponized colors. Esau Esau weaponized numbers. I was meditating on that. I, I work for a customer today. And he tattooed on himself a jig. And you know what he had he has seven, he has seven mark on his right calf. Hmm. He he tattooed a seven on his right calf. And I was saying, you better don't go in a six neighborhood. Yeah, <laughs> he saw he, he, he saw weaponized numbers. Imagine that. Even King David says, save me from thy sword. So who's these men who sign up with sticks? You don't, you know what? They don't trust any how Bashim had that. They don't have faith in your how Bashim was shy. You know, and it doesn't show that the faith with King B, with King B, they had, you know, in the Lord that the Lord would have delivered by him. So who is going to have faith in their sticks? So when their sticks jam, you know, then they want to call upon your how Bashim was shy when they realize that, you know, that the enemy um sticking in 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 sticking. You know, in a sense where you know. You know, they broke up and when they reach, they reach that point that you realize that, you know, that's not going to work. Then you want to call upon the Lord. That's why the Lord would have said, I know you not. You will be calling upon the Lord, 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 Lord. And you will be calling upon the Lord me. You know, I don't think I'll be listening to you because why? You didn't, you didn't pour on the, the, the whole armor of the Lord. You didn't get the full understanding of the truth. That's why, you know, they believe in their, in their weapon. And that's why, hey, they are in the end of the I have one precept before we move on to the verse 18 when all are ready. They Psalms 27 verses 1 to 3. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? 
Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fell. Yeah. yeah. Though an host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Yeah, and, and, uh, and before you continue, um, let's jump to Psalms 44 um, and verse 6 real quick. And you can continue from there. I only want to read Psalms 44 and verse 6 there. Can't. Voila. Yeah, this is Psalms 44 and verse 6. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Can. Uh, can we go down? Verse 7. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame that hated us. Can, and that is it. For I will not trust in my bow, my sword. The, the, and, I, and he, you talking to a, we talking about a warrior, a man who defeated hundreds of thousands. He's not going to trust in his bow and his he sword. You know, men who never kill nobody on the highways with the sword, that is what they're trusting in. You understand? A man who was actually the seeing hundreds of bodies dropping. He's not going to trust in that. You know, he's trusting in the hour. Him, you know, continue where you are, boy. I don't know if Cora phone cut off or if it's stick. Because I realize that the um, can. You know, come on. You know, come on. Can. Continue now. What to do, Cora? Continue from Daniel 3 verse 18 now. Yeah, go ahead. All right, Daniel 3 and verse 18. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. And if we look at that verse, you notice yeah. you're seeing the word gods in lowercase g, not in uppercase g. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was letting King Nebuchadnezzar know flat out that his gods... Is not the true gods. They have no fear for his gods. Yeah, yeah, can we can really actually is that the same thing with the image of uh, 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 this image, the image of the beast? You know, understanding that we're not going to serve it is it, saying no to the the mo the motv. You know, it's the same thing as saying no to the motv because. No, when faith like them is the same thing we gonna we gonna have to the same choice we gonna have to make. Um, the you know fact, to yeah, can, can. going back into the um NWO that why they wanna come with all their religion and make it as one. You know, to to to, to, to say well, you know, you know, they're making a canalu and they're saying, all right, serve this this um serve them million gods. So in in in, in that, and that is to show how he saw this one. Uh, you know, control, he would have shown his, his power and show his blessing in that time. And in, in that time, in his mind, he could tell himself, well, you know, hey, you know, I, I almost get it done. Because he for himself could be seeing it going back into the movie Kings, man. When you see everybody was getting the um when they were when they turn on the frequency and everybody started to turn started to go mad and they almost reached this, you were seeing like the world, the pop they see you the showing you the world and they're showing you how they're taking it over and I hope he saw his eyes eye upon the world right now and taking it over. You know, but as we know, when he's about to fall as well, he was gonna destroy it. So go ahead. Yeah, I'll just really quick on Oliver Lam. We will read up to verse 20, 25. And then we're gonna pick it up in the tree, in the songs of the three holy children. We're gonna pick it up from verse chapter one, verse twenty-six. All right, chapter one, verse twenty-six. That's where we're gonna pick it up in, in, in the uh, songs of three holy children. But we're gonna end at verse twenty-five in Daniel three. All right, so go ahead. So go back to read Daniel. Continue reading, or bring all the precepts. Yeah, we, we no. Well, if you have a precept, to bring bring the precept. All yeah. right, this is. This is Job chapter 13, verses 14 and 15. Wherefore do I take my flesh in my teeth and put my life in my hand? 
Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. And that's what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did. They didn't study to, to, to say something nice to appease the, 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 the Rata, the king. They spoke plainly. They were, they were actually willing to go into the furnace. Because they know, according to scripture, it's better to obey Yahweh Bashem Yahushai than man. We're not supposed to fear those who could kill the body, but we have to fear him who could kill both body and soul. That is the one to fear. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego feared Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Scripture said the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. So at that time and, and that situation that was taking place, to others looking on, it may seem as though Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was foolish because they could simply, hey, just bow down to the image, spare your life, you could always repent after. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was actually the wiser one, according to scripture, because they feared the Hawa Ba'ashem Yawashai so much so to the point that they were not trying to save their life. They was willing to be put to death for righteousness. And all of us going to face that in this time. They didn't bow. They didn't bow to um as a solution for um but you know, they didn't bow. You know, they, they fight till the end. And they go down and die. But you know, that you think about in this people and that you in here, you know, you know, you know, you know, fast. I'm a priest up here. I'm talking about the whole part. And then you can go down and say, this is the book of um, Hebrew chapter 3, verse 14. It says, For we are made partakers of Yahweh Shai if we hold. The beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. So we had a whole, we had a whole we look at I go back into the um preach up in Revelation 15, 15, um so it's three so like yeah, three and ten. When I say um um you know, because we hold like whole like patience, we will also hold this. So we hold any patience since you know the beginning, since we you know, because as we know, we follow the Lord we regeneration, and when we get it through, it's like a refresh, a refreshing. You know, we, we, we get refreshed. You know, we were still see we was we must always dry in this world, you know. And the Lord come and 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 and, and refresh us, you know, quench our thirst. So it's like, all right, you know, we get back that 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 remembrance in the spirit in ourselves for the statue commandments and also you know have any fear upon the Lord on, on us. You know, at a, at a, on a different level, and as you think about it, then it's true. Having faith and fear in the Lord, fear in the Lord is one of the key. You know, because a lot of these men who go fear the Lord will, the the ego and their pride will get them carried away. But we um Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did. They put their trust in Yahweh Hashem and Shai, and knowing that they fear man, as the scripture says, look at Psalms, what man can do unto me when Yahweh Hashem and Shai is on my side. But as a perfect example, what Esau could do unto us, you know, once we are bashing your shy on our side, as we know it is written here, yeah, brethren will not get prosecuted for the free testimony, you are bashing your shy, I mean, matters. But that he wants to be Lord Gunan, who, um, the book of Mark say they ain't gonna, um, take death, they're gonna be delivered up like, like Elijah, you know, they, and you know, talk about men who are gonna be standard, you know, um, on and all, also, too, so, hey. That's true. Sure. The truth got to be set apart. That hold on to the end. You know, it can be wavery. Or they had pain in our affliction. They had pain in our affliction. That means it wasn't a part, a part of this. You, you just, you know, you just be, you know, um, enjoying the, 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 the little, you know, the, the, the little time you had, but you didn't take it serious. You didn't come to the course and doing that. Hey, this shit is no, this shit is too tough, yeah. This shit is no light thing. You know, when shit is the fan, then you really know. This is no light thing. Then you knowing that call upon your our worship, which is a strong tower, is our only solution. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing I want to mention. As you say, as you read the scripture, and it's a confidence. Um, it's the same confidence and the trust the way it was Susanna had in the, in the Apocrypha. When you read the book of Susanna, um, 
she and she, she mentioned that it is better for me to fall into the hands of the Lord than to sin in the sight of Yahweh Shemi Oshai. I believe that was about verse 22 or verse 23. Right? Because the elders was coming up against her and they tell her, they tell her that they were going to make her an example. They would, they would make it known that she was a, a halot for doing certain things. But what she was, when you only understand what, what happened to her, she was um, prosecuted innocent. That's what the Lord tells us to be blameless. So when they come up against us and they, and they, they, they put some of us to death, we were, we were, we're going to get put, they put to death for what? For how Washimi or Shai blameless. We didn't do anything. These things were the seen against the men and the Lord is lies. Right? So we have to have faith and trust that, you know, we're going to get you. I we could could read the precept for you, you know, where you quote, where you want this, Susan. This is Susanna chapter 1, verse 23. It is better for me to fall into your hands and do it not than to sin in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Can and I yapa. Right? Because she was showing great feet. You know, the elders they come up against her and say, hey, and then was the elders, eh? they were elder men in Israel who, who she's supposed to look up to. And they tell us, they tell her, hey, if you don't do this, you can going see that you had a man inside here and, and, and you know, and, and bring out the allegations against her. And it's the same thing he saw might try to do to us. He might try to say, hey, we're going to slander your name and we're going to say that you, you committed this crime and you committed that crime and the technology that we have today. You know, they could they could do anything. They could take your face and put it on anybody's body and say you did anything. So the fear that she had now, she said, well, hey, it's better for me to fall into your hands than to fall in the hands of the Lord. You know, you understand? Because okay. could just say about the hands of the Lord. He say, um, ooh, the, the precept come in my head. It just come out my head. Um, to fall into the hands of the Lord is terrible. It's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. It's roughly paraphrasing. But we don't want to fall. We don't want to fall into the... The, the fiery indignation I have, why she may not shy? It's better to have. And that's the next thing with the brother I was just talking about, the fear. Because fear in the Lord, you're going to understand that the eyes is on you all the time. You understand? These uh -huh. eyes, that's why Susanna say in the sight that I have, why she may not shy? Because his eyes is everywhere. Uh, I'll pass this up here. Let's um, answer for the entire when he saw grab us up. Um, um, I'll give you a call with Solomon 3. And verse two, and then we'll go back into the um the Daniel. They say, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. They say, and they are going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. So go back into the um, but I will pass, you know, but I guess I say, you know, he 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 put it. So we're gonna be at peace. We gonna be perfect with you how about sharing your shine. But you know what? We stand stiff for this. We stand stiff with them, you know, we present our body as an event of fight and we 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 wasn't we, we were very we wasn't shaky as as I we stated in trend that it wasn't shaky. So you need to jump off in the back of your precept. Have a precept. Yeah. Go ahead, Jake. It's Psalms 23 and 3. The Psalms 23 and 2, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. The one who should encamp against me, mine heart shall not fear. The war shall arise against me, in this will I be confident. Damn. One thing I have desired of the Lord is that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You see, the scripture says, um, Who is profane? As Esau, who for one morsel of bread sold or meat sold his boot, right? So profane means we're outside the temple. So he outside the temple, right? Uh, the temple is a spiritual temple. Is it two temple that being built is a, a spiritual temple? Romans 12 says what? Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Romans 8, 20. Yeah. So like yeah, yeah. Well, like when I outside the app, when I read any um uh, from the Bible, then outside the app it does um so no. Yeah, so Romans are saying is that the the, 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 the temple that is built being built is a spiritual temple. 
right? He saw his profane, he's outside of the temple. So what being outside, what well, he is carnal, right? Romans 12 says, be renewed in the spirit of your mind, you know? Um, when I went into, I did a video earlier on today where I went into the word, into the NLT version of uh, Leviticus chapter 19, I think it was 20 and 21 when it speaks about wrongling the corners of your heads. In the NLT, it says wrongling the destroying your temples. You yeah, uh, see? So the word for your head, rash, or rosh, rash, rash, ash, your head is your temple. You know? Your head is your temple. Romans, echoing Romans 12. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And then Romans 8 says what? Um, and 29 says that he the Holy Lord called, he will uh, he had predestined to be the sons, to be uh, con comforted, com uh, conformed, to be conformed to the image of his son. Mm -hmm. The image of his son, to think like Yahweh Shai. You understand? Yeah. So, so you can't be outside the temple by, by taking the MOTB, by uh choose in another way you're not going to get the kingdom by by taking your motivi and saying then you go repent you will try and take a knife and dig it out you know you already submit you already yield because when it's read when it, when you're going to um in revelation 14 right it says they that worship the beast and his image so the mere fact that they're taking it and saying well well uh, i have no way i can eat and that's the, the lord gonna try these demons in that day all them demons that call themselves Israelites, the Lord going to try them in our day. This is not my Babylon, or this is not my hell. All these proud um, statements, the Lord, through David, prophesied David, say what? David prayed, he said what? Psalms 19 and 13. Somebody can get that for me real quick. Psalms 19 and 13. I'll get that for you. Psalms 19 and 13. And verse 13. This is Psalms 19 and verse 13. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright. And right, I so that's it. The presumptuous sins, them proud sins. You know, they're opening up the mouth proudfully and saying this and saying that. You have Sakari. You have um, Nathan Yayuic. You have General Ehana, the commanding general. You have the commanding, the commanding general. Where, where is that written in the scriptures? <laughs> You know, the scripture, says, the scripture says, then I will turn to my people a pure language so they'll be able to call upon my name. The, the, the book of Deuteronomy, they have, they have scriptures in the, New, in the Old Testament that hasn't been fulfilled and are being fulfilled. One of them that is being fulfilled is that um, what um, the, the Deuteronomy 30, when we, when, when we come and start to call upon it, call upon the name of the Lord and, and repent, he's going to turn the curses upon these nations. And we've seen Esau's kingdom being toppled and through, what, through prophecy, through us calling upon the true Israelites, call upon the name of the Lord. But how how, how, how he saying that the name of the Lord, we don't know the name of the Lord. All the years they was calling upon JC. Nobody wasn't calling upon um, 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 Yahabashi, Meoshai in a big way since Abba Bebens and uh, coming down the line through Great millstone, you know, uh, when, when great millstone is the only camp that really glorifies your Hawa Basham Yahushai, all these other camps glorify themselves and their brand. ISU, PK, IUIC, ICG, JC, right? Uh, and, and what about the others? What about the others? Um, the other um, non one westers, what do I'm saying? Let me say nothing, let me say nothing. Because what? They're not ascribing greatness to Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Can't. Right? These men are not being conformed to the image of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You know? The temple, is not, yeah. the temple, the spiritual temple is not truly being built. That's why the scripture says a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Most High. I think, I think that's what Yakal was, was trying to quote earlier on. Yeah, can't. Right? Yeah, you know, it's a terrible thing. Yeah. Because the Lord say what? The Lord said, and the Lord even said to, to his elect, he said, What? No, any terror of the most high persuade men. Sweet That's man. why we all there, highways and byways. Snow dummies, they call us, right? The apostles, look at the apostles, did he work today? Apostle the hard was to go and get a warm up, you know? He, he going down in age, right? The, the resistance of the body, the resistance weaker, less. The scripture said they seek to wear the saints, right? 
they have different things that is open in the air frequencies again i said they, they, they weaponize frequencies they have frequencies they have vibrations there's energy levels that you can't see that weaken you right mm -hmm. even though we're doing our best to eat right and do the exercise and pray right and fast and all these different things is always attacking the carnal the flesh yeah they're attacking the flesh so when he saw comes in the spirit of pharaoh in the spirit of nebuchadnezzar he's going to come to attack the flesh but what what they could have the flesh to be quite honest they could have the flesh you should just say some of you are going to have to be martyrs for the testimony of your precious in the sight of your house but the death of his sins we understand that he can have the flesh but what he can't have is the spirit he can't have your will to do right to be righteous right this is what we're fighting for you should just say strive for the truth until death right uh, these men Sajak, Mishak, Abednego, and Daniel were what they were given an ultimatum to serve Nebuchadnezzar's statue his idol and the song of the different instruments and they said no we're not careful we don't care about that we don't care about that we know that our power lives the woman with her seven sons and Maccabee she said, hey, there's no repentance for you. We will see, we will see. We will see again, we will see each other again, but there's no repentance for you. Yeah, so cool. we know what the prophecies say and we know what we, we believe. We believe. No man can come to the Lord unless they have faith. You have to believe. He, 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 you should just talk about not coming with doubtful disputations, right? The scripture say he that doubted he's uh, he sinned if I'm not mistaken, or doubt is dead, something like that. You know, you're not supposed to doubt. You know, you have to have faith. If it, if if your faith is small, right, your your faith. If, it, if he that faith in the day of adversity, um, his faith is small or something like that. It also says, roughly uh, paraphrasing, uh, right. So 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 so. Strength. Yeah, pray, pray for strength. Know that you're gonna go through situations to be broken down, to be built back up. When, um, when, when, it, when, when, when you're hopeless, when you're hopeless, and you're given hope, what do you do? You believe, right? God. So we, we, Jacob is in a hopeless situation. We, we, we attacked on every side. We attacked on every side. What the Lord say about his elect in Isaiah one and nine? He say what? Um, Israel is like a cottage. In, in a field of cucumbers besieged we had a strong we had, we had a lighthouse standing up over the whole field of israel which is the world right the field is the world and we're out there speaking in the name of yahabah shimeo shai to bring repentance unto israel through yahabah shimeo shai luke 1 and 68 but guess what we besieged because these same niggas is the ones who chose barabbas the same niggas is the ones who Yahweh Shai call them what scorpions and vipers. Is it? Is it? Yeah. They're going to, while well, scorpion does sting, while well, viper does bite. Huh? And, he has a po and he has poison. These Both same niggas. <laughs> yeah. These same niggas going to come up against you. What are you going to do? You're going to have faith. You're going to have faith if you're living in a household with your in laws, if you're living in a household with your unbelieving mother or unbelieving father. What are you going to do? You're going to succumb because your mommy had to eat, your daddy had to eat. You know? No. You have to stay strong. You have to let your faith, you have to let your faith shine, flourish. And that's what the walk is about. The walk is to build our faith. You know? You have to be confident. Go ahead. What you had me reading in Psalms 19, verse 13, and what we read in Daniel. When you look at it, you see it, a prophecy pertaining to Babylon the Great, which we know America, where they're going to be enforcing the MOTB. And that's why the scripture says, if any man worship the beast and his image. And you see Nebuchadnezzar was forcing Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and all those he had enslaved to yeah. worship his image. This is why David said this, I'm reading it over, Psalms 19, verse 13. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and shall be innocent from the great transgression. 
what is the great yeah. transgression we have to face? Is the MOTB. Are you going to take it or not? And look, David was telling us about it long before. This book we're reading from the scriptures is truly a prophetic book. The scriptures constantly is proven to be true time and time again. So it's no coincidence Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has likened America to Babylon the Great. It's no coincidence they're going to be enforcing decrees just like Nebuchadnezzar, where your very life is at stake should you decide not to obey their decrees. And we yeah. see in David telling us uh, to pray this prayer, ask the Father to keep us back from presumptuous sins. That is why um, is how God was telling us in Revelations 3 and 10. I'll just get it quickly, Revelations 3 and 10. Where it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. That is the same prayer David was, was praying there for the Father to keep us back from presumptuous sins, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell on the earth. And yeah. it's the elect praying that prayer, praying for the Father to keep the Spirit upon us, not to take it off of us, to keep us back from presumptuous sins. This is why we, we fast a lot, we pray a lot, we constantly in the word. Because we want when that time come about, we like the five wise virgins. We have that extra oil for we lamp. We're not going to lose hope. Our lamp's not going to go out in that period that is coming upon the earth. And the scripture right. said there will be, there was never a time such as or will be after that. Uh, so we had to be ensure we thoroughly girded for that. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego left behind a great testimony and an example where we could follow. Yeah. That's why the scriptures say everything that was written was written for our learning. Uh, this know, evening, I'll these, is things, these is These is things to boost our feet. You know, hey, brothers, you know, hey, men went through it and we see in the account, you know, with the stand firm for your Abasham, your Shayan was delivered. So they the mm. mindset we had to be in. Even though your faith, even though, you know, hey, I say we in the flesh, you know, and these prayers come, to, you know, hey, to, to torment you. Yeah, but pray, even your Shayan, hey, hey, sweat blood. But you know, and you put trust in your father. And we followed, we sent an angel to strengthen him. We have, yeah. uh, we had, we had, we had the tools, you know. We just had to use it. We have it. We just had to use it. We, 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 we had to put with trust in your Basham, your Shai. That is the key there. John, uh, right. but I was mentioning the oil. Yeah, go ahead and bring out the precept now. As you better mention the oil. Precept. Yeah, bring it out there. Yeah, that precept was holding a while. The, you know, um, there's um, there's second Maccabees six. I'll start at verse seventeen. He said, "But let he said, but let this that we have spoken be for a warning unto us, and now will we come to declare declaring the of the matter in a few words." He said, Eliezer, one of the principal scribes. And an aged man and of a well favored countenance was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. But he chosen rather to die gloriously than to live stain with such an abomin abomination. Spit, <laughs> spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment. So when you really check out these Hebrew boys, they. But we in business. If we are to die, we are to die not going and worship your goals to be stained. That is one of the uh, law. Thou shalt not worship no other goal before him. Come on. Right? I, I like the, the, the part where it says stained. So I uh, you know when you're talking about in India and swine, me so me back into the MOTB. So when you say that MOTB, you come like you you, you stain yourself, eh? You stain yourself, you're unfaithful, you're stain yourself, you're unrighteous. 
you know, you see in your service how you worship him, you know, our other God. You know, you know, and put yourself as a God for me. Well, that's... When you're getting stained, that's be a, a kind of a stigma that's behind you. Even like, hey, if you do a, a crime or, or some kind of thing, you just get your yeah, 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 significant yeah. character. You just get a stain. Yeah. So if you had to apply yeah. for a job or anything, you know, the scene that you you that stain and then you have So yeah, you recommend you want to be without... Yeah. And it's like, it's like so then you would have count, then you would have stain. And that's so yappa because the stain the show more on white. And with the Hebrew <laughs> word, the Hebrew word for um the Hebrew word for that is taha, which is pure, with the white really go into. So when you stain that, you understand with that mark, because this could be when you really go into that stain going and be a mark, you mark yourself for that. And that and that that day marking yourself for that is. The Lord say you don't want to fall into that indignation. That was the only brother mentioned the oil in Matthew 25 because that oil is going to be needed for that time. All, all we read in here as the scriptures say written for our learning. It could have been from Genesis come down. All that oil is coming up for the day and what we're going to need it. Which scriptures say wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our times that we're going to have to keep us stable. You know what I'm saying? what the Lord saying now. Um, Lord said, um, Sirach, the second chapter, he say, look at the generations of old and see, did any man ever trust in you how Hashem or Shayan was forsaken? The Lord never forsake a man that trusts in him yet. It's like a man who, it's like, it's like for instance, a man who always keep any word, right? You, you know he track record, now, and, and a man come on to the play, that man, that man, he never yet, let, he never yet, um, let down somebody. You work for that man, you should be. You have a good, you have a good reputation. God is showing you his reputation. And and that, he, yeah, go ahead. And that is the Lord, because the scriptures say, the Lord is not slack as he promised, as men count slackness. As men count slackness. The Lord is going to set you up like, 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 like men. Your boss might tell you, boy, you'll get a bonus for Christmas. Then when Christmas come, he tell you, well, hey, sales wasn't so good. You know, next yeah. year. And he yeah. set you up. You don't know how to make it work for you. Don't know that. Ah, look, sir. You know. Yeah, sorry about that. But go ahead. <laughs> you know, so you don't know that. You don't want you to get. Go ahead. I see. Don't even be like wrong, guys. You know. So you. That's a true idea. You know. You don't go down for you. He will will not return to him void. You know. But when I never do what I think I'm done, yeah. Daniel chapter 3 verse 19 Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was won't to be heated Hey, and so like, yeah, that's so yeah, because the word visage mean he continents in a, a, a face. You understand? He whole face change with that. Like, what? What do you mean? That uh, you touch his pride by telling him no. So uh -huh. expect he saw with these draconian laws and expect him to come up against the men of the Lord and expect the prophecy where they say they shall be like mad men, spirit, none. Expect them things to come rapid, rapid, rapidly. When you see the marks start to be implemented because... We are a threat. So they don't want that they don't want a big re rebellion against the mark. So you know what? The visage, the face, the continent they're gonna change and they're gonna yeah. implement these laws. <laughs> and yeah. so like it's say it's say it's say um it's say any push up here, it's say it's say um that you should heat the furnace one seven times more. And we know yeah. the I mean completion, so completion. <laughs> Why is that a turn of the heat? See, until the men of the Lord, when you go be like, as they were out, but I was saying, you'll be like a man, man, spraying on. So he saw one and bring it. He saw one and bring it. He's his, 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 his guys. Well, so like, yeah? No, I was just going to bring it. Tell me, and it says what? Um, 
Nebuchadnezzar was so furious with Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, his face became distorted with rage. He commanded Damn. that the furnace be heated seven times hotter than usual. Can so that we have, he saw, he saw, he saw, he saw that's and that's why they're gonna attack us. That's why the woman a while back, the Israeli woman, say what? Um, the greatest threat they have is the black young men in America. Can. When 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 we know it's not just every day, it's not just every day. Jake, they're talking about they're talking about the prophets because the prophets have that wisdom. Have that light, and they, they prophesy now God that is other than themselves. Cool. Think about it. Nebuchadnezzar had an image of himself, a golden image of himself. Idolatry. He so want to be revered. He so want you to pour in your energy into him, worshiping him, or worshiping Satan through him. Okay. So that's how he say up. You know, when you watch the, the, the cartoon, I always like to quote his uh, Monsters Inc. And, the, and, and and then in the, the second part. But in the first part of Monsters Inc., what they do? They, they was gathered energy to rule the cities by what? Scaring the, the children. Can. Right? We know that that goes into the uh, adrenochrome and things. That's for them to have their longevity and all that shit too. But what happened is that it's, it's, it's left-hand side energy. But what was the right-hand side energy when the monster the trip, monster. trip? Which, who is the monster? Esau is the monster. Um, right, somebody look up the word monster and see where you get any etymology. Right? And which who is the monster? He saw a monster when he saw when, when the monster tripped. It, the monster made the baby laugh. And that energy blew the blew the capsule. They couldn't yeah. contain that energy. Right? So righteousness is always gonna overpower the wicked. That's how the story always goes. The righteous win. You know, you're gonna have a short time of losing. You should just say what? Do weep and enjoy for a moment, right? Joy coming to the morning. And who is he? Who is he? Who is he? The star, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. Not the most high in Christ, blessed, not the commanding general. Is Yahweh Shai? They are not pork chop. <laughs> um, may, may I add this? When, when, see, that's how we, we going into Daniel. And we observe it that Nebuchadnezzar required that his image he set up be worshipped. Remember, we had to go back to the, to the dream he had. He didn't dream an image of pure gold. So when Daniel gave him the interpretation from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai pertaining to what he dreamed, and he heard the words that he dreaded, that every ruler dread to hear, that another kingdom shall arise. And, 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 and take over from where you say you set up. Nebuchadnezzar decided, hey, I'm not accepting this decree what the Heavenly Father said. He said that our eyes only the head of gold. I'm going to show him my kingdom going to last forever. And we have a precept with that where he something, his houses and his kingdom, roughly paraphrasing, paraphrasing is going to last forever. So, what is he going to use? He's going to use the enforcement of the MOTB. Just like how Nebuchadnezzar was using the image to force the children of Israel to bow down and worship his God, so to Esau, Edom, and Babylon the Great, they're going to be pushing for this MOTB, this system they're setting up. And you're seeing more than ever that there was no coincidence when the Heavenly Father likened <laughs> America to Babylon the Great. Because exactly what Nebuchadnezzar it was doing back then, we see in those same measures being employed today. And we know, according to prophecy, where it says Esau is the end of the world, meaning the end of the age, and Jacob is beginning that follow it. They know we have next. The MOTB is the last ditch final attempt to hold on or to keep the reins of power in direct challenge to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They're trying to change what the Heavenly Father has already decreed. This is the pride of Esau Edom. When you look at everything that he's doing and his decrees, you're seeing that same pride Nebuchadnezzar had, which led to him being turned into a wild beast. And that's mm -hmm. why you're going to be destroyed. Destroy God, the scripture says. I think it's probably come way before destruction or something. So. <laughs> All right, so the same thing. And they just show it. There's a reason why the Lord called, you know, 
America and the border of wickedness. That's yeah. why he called it Sodom and Egypt. Right? It's wickedness mm-hmm. day. And yeah. it's going to be yeah. purged. You, you know, so we see that, you know, he, he saw he have a short time because the Lord had numbered his days that he cannot cross over. The Lord already yeah. said that, 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 yeah. Right, that 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 border. The Lord already said that He can't cross over that Man. because everything that had a beginning, it had an end. Man. Right, He saw kingdom not gonna rule. That 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 promise is not for He. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. because when you're reading, when you're right. reading, um, I think it's in we talk about um, and if it's in um, just chronicles. What scripture is that? Um, but the Lord say if he if he um be a son, he will chastise him with the, the rod of men and the children of, with the children of men, and he will establish his kingdom forever. Can as we promised David. <laughs> Can. Can. Right. Sam, so yeah. Esau kingdom not gonna be forever. That is in Psalms. Yeah, and I'm not even fine. Right. So that promise, that promise is that promise is and not Samuel. for you. Right? Samuel. Yeah, Samuel, yeah, Samuel. Samuel. Yeah, then Samuel, yes, Samuel. Yeah, it's second Samuel right. about the six of chapter six or about seven or whatever. But that so you're the whole kingdom. Yeah. Wanna be that going and be established forever. He saw only could think it and he's trying to perceive it, you know. But it's not for mm. him. Can. As you as you say before, right? You know, number he, he did, you know, about that yeah, he can't pass, that he can you know, because the Lord already he seen how everything already written. And if it if it if it's written. A certain type of way, that means that the Lord would not come back for him, and have to happen that type of way. You understand? The Lord said, This is gonna happen, that's gonna happen. The MOTV gonna come, mm-hmm. but you know, also, the Lord said, He shortened the days, also. So, all, all, also, all these things happening, He also shortened the days so that you know, it's even shorter than it's supposed to be. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. you get it, precept. I'm looking for it still. <laughs> um, second Samuel chapter six or seven. Let me see if I get it. It's a terrible tablet I use in here, but terrible. Yeah, uh, seven and fourteen. Check fourteen. Second Samuel. Or you could read about about fourteen. Mm-hmm. Right, this is Second Samuel chapter 7. I will start from verse 12, right? It yeah. says, And when thy day shall be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Yeah, pa. Can. Yeah, he will establish his kingdom forever. So he's so only to think it that he holds is gonna continue forever. But it's not. Day by when you read second Ezra 6, see for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning with that follow it. They have next. That is for them. Yeah. You hold shy. Yeah. The scriptures say the end is manifest. Do you understand? For the end to be manifest, that means everything revealing before we eyes right now. But go ahead. Uh. Continue with um, verse um, 14. Or we're going back to Daniel. Uh, I, yeah, well, uh, I, quick, I quick, I quick precept before you think. Yeah, you were uh. that. The second day, second is just 7 verse 43. He said, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the uh, beginning of the immortality for to come when corruption is passed. Yeah. Right? And corruption, it, it going on past. Because the wicked going on be out of authority. Right? The Lord going to destroy he. Destroy that, 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 that wicked generation. Yeah. And who, who immortality belong to? Israel. Elect. Israel. Elect. Yeah, right? They were days yeah. promised. That is not for them. That's why he saw he trying to search it out. He's looking for that immortality, you know. 
He saw nah. suits in a trying best in all how <laughs> biometric enhancements <laughs> by battery <in> back. <laughs> you have a, um, a, a metal heart pumping, you know. You transhumanism, they call that transhumanism. Yeah, they had a suit just jumping from here to off our roof. Also, also, um, also by um, that black market organ organ harvesting. Harvesting, that's how they, that's how that, that's how they get yeah. longevity. So, there was a video a while back with that Canadian devil, right? The Canadian version of uh, Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein, who had the Jake woman, right? He took them out and he was telling them that, you know, their fetuses, they get uh, stem cells from the fetuses. And they was going into his history where he impregnated a whole heap of women, had them aboard the children and take the uh, stem cells from that to produce things for their longevity. He's, hmm. These people are, you should say, in Psalms, three, Psalms 10, verse 3 and goes down, it says, again, real quick, anybody read Daniel 7, by, by the way? The saints and the most I shall take the kingdom and shall possess it forever and ever. He was talking about the immortality. No, we didn't bring it nah. up. Yeah. Somebody can line up for me in the meantime, but for sure. Right. right. I was just there, but um, the spirit leads to the um, Psalms 10. Right. You know, Psalms 10, you know, this kingdom, this rulership, you should just say, the, 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 the power of the world is in the hand of the Lord to give it unto him whom he like it, right? And in due time, he'll give it to one that is profitable, which is Yahawashai, right? Because Yahawashai is, 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 is the prince of peace. And also, he was the king of righteousness. He, he, when he came out of the like he set up the priesthood. He was the, um, he was the priest, of, he was a, a priest of righteousness, uprightness, right? He was right. Um, that's that's where to be right. You're not gonna give. You're not gonna give something immortality to be wicked. There's no need for the wicked anymore. We already ate up the true the tree of of good and evil. We already had that lesson. So there's not gonna have need for that wicked generation in the kingdom of heaven. Hence, them being destroyed after the thousand years of slavery. And that's what Christians and tutors can't get on any day. They, 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 Get into get get into the cognitions, get into the understanding is that everything is created with a purpose. The two main nations, right? They were created for a purpose, one to represent good, one to represent evil. The two main nations or the two nations, case in point, right? Jacob and Esau represent um wickedness and righteousness. And if their forefathers would have been Cain and Abel. Wickedness and righteousness. Cain, 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 was the, Cain was the elder son, right? Abel yeah. was the youngest. Esau was the eldest, elder of the twins, right? Jacob yeah. was the youngest. All right? They that are younger than I had been the Russian. They were spiritually younger than what? Jacob. They were spiritually younger because they were, they were wicked and not righteous. They behave yeah. as children. They behave as fools. They behave as base men. Right? This is Psalm yeah. chapter 10 and verse, verse uh, 3, the point is in 5. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire, which is what, to, to, to MOTV everybody, right? And bless the covetous whom the Lord abhorred. These are the nations, right? The wicked through the pride of his countenance. These are the nations and themselves. They, they themselves are covetous. They bless themselves, right? They keep it well within themselves, Right? It says, the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. Or his ways are always grievous. It's a grievous thing. You just going and having sex with you offering these poor and needy Israelite women things that they could only dream of, right? Which, 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 which Eve wicked as hell. Well, good because Eve was the one who was deceived. Is is an example of them being deceived. 
being the, being the spirit of Eve, the foremother, the woman was deceived, not Adam, right? Adam wasn't deceived, all right? Adam, who, who called upon the name of Yahweh Shai, right? They remain in that spirit of the sons of God, you know? Their heart wasn't taken by the, the devices of the other nations, right? Eve was deceived. Eve holy and solely entered. Yeah, you have to do what the government say. You have to do thing. Yeah, yeah. We have, I want to get married. Put a ring on it. If you like it, you got to put a ring on it. Who tell us to do that? Satan. He's still point. Right? He tell you to be, be in monogamous. He tell you being a monogamous relationship. But he also tell you to be a queen. That's confusion. <laughs> a queen is a whore, a paramour. I had it, right? He's the one that glorified a woman having more than one man. Where's your body come? Your body come glorified. Except for except for the men that waking up now through the spirit. Men not waking up because of Kevin Samuels. Men waking up because the spirit of the prophets come on here. Yeah. His aunt is auntie. Your 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 how to say. You're a man, a man, your, your whole anatomy is made up to have more than one woman. Yeah. I always, I, I always said, I always said to myself before the truth is that it is like, um, no man, right? And I can't really even say before the truth. I want to be honest. I can't really say before the truth, but it, it's like something I considered in the truth. If I could say that for, for, for a fact, is that no man can tell me that he married a one woman and, and automatically no other woman becomes attractive to him. That's impossible. That's yeah, impossible. Yeah, even the scientific fact behind it too. You know, um, you could you could impregnate a hundred women for this week. You understand? And and a woman could only get pregnant once, and then she had to stay with her child for nine months until she could get pregnant again. But it shows the, the domination. You know, she, them could be dominated like that. That shows it's supposed to be with one man. But a man could you could impregnate a, a hundred women just this week alone. Sure. And you see, in society, as 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 Brother Barrow was saying earlier, they, they elevate the lifestyle of a woman having more than one man, but they demonize a man having more than one wife. See how they is hypocrite? Sure. They could never they, 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 the whole purpose is to destroy Israel. And um, through his, his decrees, his doctrines, and his philosophies, everything he is in, he is doing is with that goal in mind. Because as you rightly said, said uh, one man could impregnate the whole world. You know, let me be real. Through one man, as long as it have women available, wombs av wound available, that man could impregnate the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we know what we from. Not a man from the alphabet crew, eh? <laughs> <laughs> they just really he saw how he planned too because he you see he know that you know if he if he do that he go slow down pro progress then she say go multiply as much if they have one wife for it take nine months. Uh, right, but they both the British scripture say a small one going and become a great nation, and how that gonna be is by a man of multiple wives, just as uh, Gideon. He had 70 uh, sons of his body, but he had many wives. One woman can't bring forth a nation a trend. Uh, right? It needs multiple. And hey, and, and, and that's why you're probably called. It will take too long for one woman to do it because the gestation period is what nine to ten months. Can't. It will take too long for one woman to do it. She'll be back to back to back to back with no rest, but it will take too long. But it's not that she can't do it, it's just that it will take too long. But with the, the, the kingdom, we're going to come back. Time going to slow down, and we're going to be able to enjoy life. We're going to be able to live. That's like how they live in. When you're taking consideration, as you just said, the gestation period. Then pertaining to the law, if she make a male child, it's, 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 it's 40 days she won't clean if it's a female child. It's, I think it's 90 days, if I remember clearly. You're seeing it has so much a time between the time she conceiving 
till the next time she going and have that child. That is going to take a, a heck of a long time for her to even imp to, 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 to fall up the earth. And she will have time die I mean, already because at a certain age. <laughs> Yeah, can women and we getting breed like how we breeding breed any air right now? That is how women and we getting breed in um in that time. I know like I know chick like to breed. She she like to open the seat. She can like carry yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true from the topic. You know, I don't want to see that same thing. Right? <laughs> right jump back eight percent, man. Hey Daniel. We go we go Daniel. um Daniel seven eighteen. Daniel seven and eighteen. Oh, I had it here. All right, go ahead now. Um, Daniel seven and eighteen. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Yeah. So the yeah. saints and these were these were these 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 heathens, these Christians. You know, we you know we gotta be. We gotta break down the saints because a lot of them feel the saints could be anybody who believe in Christ. Oh yeah, see, and it's not so. God. Somebody could, if somebody could get Psalms one forty eight and fourteen, so we will break down the saints. Who are the saints? Who the kingdom gonna be given to? One forty eight and fourteen. Have it here. It says once. This is Psalms one forty eight and fourteen. It says. He also exalted the horn of his people and praised all of his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Can. Can. And that's why, that is why he tell Ezra, right? Um, I think it's second Ezra. So, like, okay, when, it, when they take it about it, let me give it this one time. Yeah, okay, I one forty nine and one and two. Can. Right, 1.91 one and 2, Psalms 1.91 one and 2. Praise ye Yahweh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Right, that song is the same song the Christians would have been singing in Revelation 14. It says, and his praise in the congregation of the saints. It says, let Israel, let Israel, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Crown, right? I have a big point uh, in the book of yeah. Psalms 50 as well, too. I don't know if, um, I can bring it out from a real quick. Sure. Psalms 50 and what yeah. verse? And verse 5. But that's a big point uh, put in into describing who the Lord seems now. Crown, this is Psalms chapter 50 and verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Yeah, can because the ones who have made a covenant with the Lord are the Lord's saints. And we know who make a covenant with the Lord. It's written, Deuteronomy 28, in um, Leviticus. Is it the children of Israel, these are the ones that make a covenant with the Lord. Um, Amos 3, where the Lord said, you only have I known. That is who make a covenant with the Lord. And that's how you know is this, that is the children of Israel is the Lord's sin, you know? Can, Can. Romans 9, they must have the adoption. Can. It is um, the second Israel 2 and verse 10. He said, Thus said the Lord unto Ezra, Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom. Hmm. Right? So you see who it belonged to. See who the Lord yeah. gonna choose. He's gonna choose Jerusalem again when I read in Maccabees. He said, Plant thy people again in the Holy Land. Yeah. Right? And so in Christianity, the key are wrong, the key are wrong the scriptures. Can. Right? To try to add in the garbage. This book is Israel. Oh no, I'm saying it's just a, a beautiful one. It says um Isaiah 14 and 1 and 2 for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and strangers shall be joined up with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel 
shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and for handmaids, and, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and shall rule and over their oppressors. And who are the oppressors? These are the nation, these Edomites. And they were scripture saying in Revelation, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right? So you see, these nations, they're going into slavery. Right? And they'll bring out Deuteronomy 30 and verse 7. The Lord going to bring all these curses upon them. Mm -hmm. The Lord going to make us back the head and he's going to make them the tail. The scriptures talk about the time going to come when the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Who is he, plowman? Right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask about the oppressors. This is um, Jeremiah 13 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversary, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Can all thy adversary, the Lord talk about, which is, our en which is enemies unto Israel, the scripture is saying in Psalms, I think it's Psalms 82, or 83, Psalms 82. Right, the Lord talk about his enemies. Did he tree? All of them. Psalm did he tree? It says, verse 17, right. Jeremiah 13 and 17. For I will restore health unto thee. I will heal thee of thy wounds. You know, many dogs are cup the, the, um, the sores. You see their nations. Right? Lazarus, Luke 16. It says, Say the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom the, who no man seeketh after. Thus say the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tent. What that means, he's going to turn it upon Esau and have mercy on the dwelling places, and the city shall be built upon the up, uh, and the city shall be built upon their own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. Can. You know the scriptures were talk about kings shall be thy nursing mothers or something. So I can yeah. roughly paraphrase. Can. Can. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Bring it out. Can. Isaiah chapter 60. I start from verse 10. Read it. Say, this is what was, um, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. It says, And the sons of thy strangers shall, shall build up thy walls. And their kings shall minister unto thee. But in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I have I had mercy on thee. Therefore the gate shall be open continually. They shall they shall um yeah, they shall not be shut thee no night. The men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and the kings. Brought for the uh, for any nation, I don't. I believe it's Isaiah forty nine. He was talking about, uh, but that one too on point. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, can can forty nine and um, twenty. For okay. forty nine, twenty three. So like yeah, the people come by. Yeah, but that next one too. Can the people come by? That's after forty nine with twenty three. See, um, I want to start from a person. I will start. Verse 22, it says, um, Thus says Yahweh, but she may shy behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring their, thy sons in their arms, and the daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. Verse 23, it says, The kings shall be thy ministers. I know like, yeah, shall be thy nurses, father, nursing father, and their queen shall yeah, die, yeah, and their queen, thy nursing mothers, they shall bow them, bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lift up Can. the dust of thy feet. Yeah, so these elites and them, these so-called elites and them, it's as scripture says in Revelation 2 9 8, they're gonna worship before our feet, they're gonna bow down to we. You know, as you are saying, um, I think it's Isaiah 45 and 14, right? They're gonna come, they're, they're gonna bow down to we, they're gonna they're gonna come to we in chains. 
Yes, I know that for yoke sai and I wrong up. A yoke sai and I wrong up when they are going to get back. Trip to say, well, with a man saying it, but he's saying he's going to be punished. Can These were coming. And, and just to add, you know, going back into your scene, you're going to be coming, you're going to come on, on the stature, they want to a high stature, but when we put them in scene, they're going to be at a low stature, they're going to be under, under feet. You know, they're going to be low. You know, you so, you so give them going to be as, 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 as high as they used to be, we're going to be ruling. So they're going to be, hey. you know, down to the dust. They're going to be, because we, as I said, um, our great language, you know, and 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 we they they hiss and the 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 they look at us as 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 you know a people and buy wood. They say we're gonna happen with Esau because they're gonna be like the country. Going, going and they're going they're going they're going and get fierce too because scriptures say you know he reward him as he had rewarded you Can't and double, double give him double. Right, so he he gonna he gonna he gonna get double times. He gonna get fierce and they why scriptures say no we gonna rule. Then with a, a, a rod of iron. Hey, hey they're going to be fierce. They're going to be fierce. Same thing. Remember, he cast off all pity, you know? Can. The so-called white man, he cast off all pity. He showed, he showed no mercy. Can. So we have the scriptures say, he, he, he showed no mercy and, well, and looking for mercy. And that's why hmm. he can't get with two-thirds of our people, you know? No, boy. They don't want no, to see the white man in slavery, you know? They don't want to see this man get put to death. They just want to be in league with this man one day, you know, the bygones be bygones, you know. That already happened in the past, you know. Let me forget that. Let me live good. They were JK, they, 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 they two thousand people need by, they need dead by, the wicked man. as hell by, the siding with the enemy, the scripture said, do hands joining hands by, and the joining hands with the enemy to fight against their Lord who come to deliver them, you know. Turn. They will not fight with you, you know. They just show how wicked our people is, you know. The love is so he don't you know. And yeah. this why they're gonna die. Thus said your yeah. basham your shy. Yeah, because they trust in fear. Um, no, you no, know, me, you know. You know, it um, yes, yeah. <laughs> if I'm a lean on it, they will pierce him. And that's what they do, they lean in and trust in the system and they trust in Esau. They trust in fear. Well they will get they will get what they're looking for. I know from Mashi um, Mike cut off the phone over again and three percent right now. If it cut off, and, uh, we could always we could always just read um read up until a little bit again and you know continue on the next live. All right, so this is Daniel chapter three from verse twenty, and he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their horses, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And hey, hey, that's so yeah, hey, that the men who the men who were was even going in the fire You yeah. understand? <laughs> that is true. That really yeah, far. Well, go ahead, uh, take a tear. And these three men, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Show the dice. Show the dice. What? I was gonna say that. And dice show. Dice show the the rage. The rage Nebuchadnezzar had when they didn't. But don't he go the rage here? That why the scriptures, how we talk about the continents change. Can um, you say, boy, he gets so mad, hey, like that real hot for me, they please. We burn Can. them up, yeah. And he, right. and he men get burned up, he, he the men, men get consumed. Get burned up. <laughs> and for sure, we, you know, just adding to brothers, you know, seeing what he saw, we're back into the book of um. I'm going to bring it out here first. The book of Job. Go ahead. The book of Job, chapter 5, verse 12. Uh, I'm going to bring it out here. The book of Job, chapter 5, verse 12. It says, He, he disappointed the devices of the crafty, so their hands cannot perform their Go ahead, right? Go ahead, right? Can't. So, um, he saw, he saw feeling that, you know, all his, all his devices going back into 
when they say add more to the fire and even his own soldiers get destroyed, same with each other. You know, each other would be setting up all these stuff and they're going to be falling upon it. Same with the AI. All these AI or each other can control. You know, um, when they go into um, <clears throat> the movie, um, just leave it with um, Cyborg, he could not control himself. He could not control himself when he sees Superman touch down. He tell himself that he, he don't want to fight, but the 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 the, 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 the um the machinery was taking um control and show showing that he don't want to fight and and started shoot a, a, a against Superman. So that's true when he don't think and say himself that he has everything in control, everything going what he wants. So a lot of his people wanna die. You know, that's true when it comes to the, the, the power of the Lord. He, he so feel that in his mind that he has God in his mind, but you know, take and bring him and feel and see say himself that hey he just as a man. So it's a boy that Right, in verse 23, Daniel chapter 3, verse 23. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astoned, astonished, astonished, astonished what I've seen, astonished, and yeah. rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound? Into the midst of the fire, then yeah. answered they answered Salakia and said unto him, unto the king, True, O king, he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and yeah. they have no hurt. Yeah, and that the form, Salakia, I just show the power that, that they don't have over the men of the Lord once the Lord protecting them. God. Four men loose walking in the midst. They not just standing still in it. They walking in the of the fire. This fire ain't burning at all. That's all the show that hey, the, the souls are the right to be under the Lord, to the Lord or with us. You know, we back into um into the um the book of Corinthians, the Lord say he, he is within us, you know. So show that hey, the Lord as scripture said the the uh, angel of the Lord. In camp to around those who fail, you know, that's a preparation in the scripture. But you know, throughout, throughout, I'll have another piece of, I'll have a piece of the brain out here. I'll just, I'll just log a brain from one time. Um, Capita, Capita here. Right. I'll have a piece of fear. Capita, um, vessel. You see, um, he say so four men loose, right? Uh, There's a book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse, verse 1. And I saw and, and, and in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within, and on the backside sealed with seven seals, was two. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a long voice, with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seven the seals thereof. Right? The man who loosed the seals was the man who was inside them, had them loose. And it's the same thing through the spirit and power of Yahweh, but ship me or shy, we loosed. I will ship to say, uh, is in uh, also in um, the New Testament, it says, uh, Matthew 16 and 19, it says, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Right? And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And if you understand the concept of heaven, which is rulership, right? Who would have been loose in, in the kingdom? Who bound now? We bound the nation of Israel is bound on any chains of darkness, right? Because yeah. this is this this is not of our, our, our celestial spiritual bodies, this is our uh, terrestrial bodies right but they're gonna uh, you're gonna in the kingdom the the nation of israel is gonna have celestial bodies right it's more more so the elect but overall the uh, nation because the nation itself gonna have bodies that not gonna they're not gonna go off the body spirit and the body not gonna be warring against one another they're gonna be programmed together it's not conflicting programming you know yeah. galatians says the word the spirit or it's against the flesh and the flesh against the spirit so that you, you don't do the things that you that you ought to do more or less of the paraphrase it you understand so those who who receive that 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 looseness now 
as a nation of, of Israel. Through the word and the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, the words I speak unto you, they are the spirit and they are life. So we loosed. Well, who's going to be born in the kingdom? Esau. Remember, Esau was born for a thousand years in times past. They call it what? The dark ages. Because why? Jake rule. It was a dark time for them. You know? Can. <laughs> you can. And what stood out for me in verse 25, where it says, and the form of the fourth is like the son of God. Uh -huh. well, probably, people are probably asking, but where did Nebuchadnezzar even see the son of God to even make that declaration? Just like with Peter, when he said, flesh and blood had not revealed this unto you, but my father, which is in heaven. Father opened Nebuchadnezzar's eyes for you to realize, but wait, this is the son of God in the midst there with these men. Um. This is why the, 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 the nations, and I think it was quoted earlier, earlier in the lesson, where these other nations or these other heathens are going to say these men are the sons of God. Because they, they, the Father are going to open their eyes for the, to, to this truth, to this reality that, hey, these are the men that we held in derision. These are the men that we treated poorly. And here they are numbered among the saints. Men, watch me, Esau, Edom, and the other nations are going to be terrified because when they realize what they did, when the Father showed it to them, <laughs> they know that judgment coming for them going to be harsh. Yeah, can't shame. <laughs> yeah. Shame when I'm talking about them. Can. And yeah, part too, because really and truly, you know, when you look at it, you know, they went in the fire, chain up and die up and then you know the only and then they, and then they see them all of a sudden they're free and as Burrell going into freedom who lose them the only man that could have lose them and no other man could have go there and lose them <laughs> but boy, was yeah. our shine well, I did read it verse 25. Oh, and I know, I know, let us say we were stopping at the verse 25. So I know what it is. So you want to jump in, yeah? Well, yeah, yeah. So, you have to go to the uh, songs of you, the children, and pick it up now from verse 26. From inside of the flames, inside of the fire. Come out of the kitchen if you can't stand the heat. <laughs> so one read for, so read from Daniel 3:26 now, right? No, you read reading from Songs of Solomon, Songs of the Three, the Three Holy Children in the Apocrypha, one and twenty-six. Uh, it's a song of the future, right? Eh? If, if he ain't getting it, they don't see the songs of the future, and if he ain't now, if it's the future, it's up now. I'm looking for it, and I've seen it. it, it, it you see, that is a Jeremiah. If, it, if, it, if it's yeah, sitting on the tablet, yeah, if it have a, you don't have a physical apocrypha, is it letters of Jeremiah? Letter right. of Jeremiah. 126. Uh, well, yes. All right. This is the letter of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 26. They are born upon shoulders, having no feet, whereby they declare on la, men. La, la. I guess that is the book of Baruch. That is the book of Baruch. Right? So you can't get it then. Somebody else will have a physical apocrypha. Yeah, okay, no. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. I believe that is the book of Jeremiah. The letter of Jeremiah. Are you reading it? No? It's seen the same thing. We're reading from 26. It was a say, um, 
Ma read it though. Read it now because I I I I not seen it. I love it. Baba Kosha, read it. If you have a book, I read it. Can all right. This is the work of um um the three holy children. The songs of the three holy children. All right. So um, you go first twenty six, right? Can he said, but the angel of the Lord came down into the oven together with our Azarus and his fellows and smote the fire, the flame, Salakia, put the flame of the fire out of the oven. Salakia, so, like, what I was reading, what um, when I was reading, right, when they saying the letter of Jeremiah, um, that going back to Baruch chapter 6, Verses twenty six, for some reason, but in the in the online in, in the Bible app, the book of Baruch is there. I don't know why they have the book of Baruch and the letters of Jeremiah, right? But the book of Baruch is in the um in in the Bible KJV Bible app, but it also reading um one and twenty six as in as uh, in in the in in the letters of Jeremiah, reading as Baruch is the same reading as Baruch. Chapter six, verse twenty-six. All right. So, all right. So. What we read them from is the, the songs of the three holy children. Is in a physical apocrypha. Well, it's yeah, one I, chapter, I, and it's I, verse twenty-six. We read them from. Right. I will read it. But I, well, I believe. I believe we we would find online is the prayer of Azariah, not um the letter of Jeremiah. If you go to the prayer of Azariah on online apocrypha, oh. you're yeah. gonna you're, you're gonna get that. We are reading in the hard copy. Can you can read back the arm twenty six up? Prayer of Azariah um was twenty. Yeah, the prayer of Azariah. Can can can. Yeah, because can. Azariah. So what? So what? The tree, uh, the children, right? Right. This is um song of the tree, holy children, chapter one, verse twenty six. But the angel of the Lord came down into the oven together with Azarias and his fellows and smote the flame of the fire out of the oven and made the midst of the furnace as it had been a moist whistling wind so that the fire touched them not at all neither hurt nor troubled them then the tree as out of one mouth praised glorified and blessed God in the furnace saying blessed are thou O Lord God of our fathers, and to be praised and exalted above all forever. And blessed is thy glorious and holy name, and to be praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the temple of thy holy glory, and to be praised and glorified above all forever. Blessed art thou that beholdest the depths and sittest upon the cherubims and to be praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou on the glorious throne of thy kingdom and to be praised and glorified above all forever. Blessed art thou in the firmament of heaven and above all that be praised and glorified forever. All O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye heavens, bless ye the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye angels of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye waters that be above the heaven, bless ye the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Keep reading or that one, well, you no, know, you get the point. You get the point. Right? So, so, yeah. Um to the with all your strength, all your might, you get up yourself. Um yes, um, so like yeah. This is um Isaiah, Isaiah chapter two and verse eleven. Right? It says, the lofty looks of man shall be humble, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down. And Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh alone, 
shall be exalted in that day. And also verse 17, and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. And, and the idols he sh shall utterly abolish, and they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of their hawa. Right? Who is, who is, who is that? It's Esau and Edom. Right? They yeah. set up themselves to be the idol, just like Nebuchadnezzar. Right? They shall go into the holes of the rocks and what and into the caves. That's what the bunkers, right? For fear of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, and for the glory of his majesty. He said, My glory I shall give unto no other. Right? JC ain't coming with no chariots. JC not coming with the power and the glory. Right? It says, When he arises to shake terribly the earth. Right? In that day, man shall cast the idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself to worship to the moles and to the bats and to go into the clefts of the rocks and into the tops of the ragged rocks for fear of Yahweh, for the glory of his majesty, when, the, when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. Cease ye from man who, whose breath is in his nostrils for wherein is he to be accounted of right so your yeah, is coming to what take the kingdom and, 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 and to glorify himself above all he's a god above all yeah how is god above all yeah. you know they have a, they have that in some dc comics or some shit so right yeah. they have that as entertainment but it's not entertainment yeah how about is he god above all he said there be gods many and lords many, but Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha is one. Right? And yeah. that one, that one power, that one true power is one in knowledge with, with his son, who's gonna be the same with his with his what with with with, with the savior is the elect of the nation of Israel. Kind of right? yeah, well, the precept of Howard was talking about lining up perfect with what you know saying because, bring it out, bring it out. Uh, Sir me to your chapter. Uh, Sirach 13, let's see if I get it. Leave it Sirach 40. 40. That's what I'm going to see. Right. Sirach 43 and... um. Let me see. Hey. No, I had it here. It's 20. No, it's Sirach 43. I'm trying to find it. Sirach 43 and goes 30. Right? <laughs> It says, when he glorified the Lord, exalt him as much as he can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when he exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for he can never go far enough. You understand? And if we really understand the magnitude of that precept, it shows us that you can never done glorify any height of the Lord greatness. You can never glorify the Lord enough because he's still going to exceed that greatness that he tell you, will you glorify him too? You understand? It shows how high, how high, as the scriptures say, um, the Lord majesty, talk about his majesty, it is it's on another level. And only when we, only when we in the kingdom, we will understand that to a higher extent than we understand it now. So that is when you will get to see, you know, like the scripture that say, they that see the works of the Lord, you know, they glorify him. So they understand it, you know, with the men of the Lord who go out in the sea, they talk about the men who go out in the sea, they see the Lord wonders and they glorify him. But you see you now, when we understand, when we go out and are different, I'm going to different galaxies and that is when we going to get to understand to a different level of the, how high the Lord is. You understand how a different level the Lord is. So we understand at that point right now. Can I have a quick one here? The book of Psalms 124. And this is the one of the shortest Psalms here. Psalms 124, verse 1. It says, Behold, bless ye the Lord, Yahweh, by showing on shy, or the servant of the Lord, it say, which by night stand in the house of the Lord, it says, lift up your hands, in thy sanctuary and bless Yahweh, it is the Lord that made 
heaven and earth bless the bless thee out of Zion. That is a day. One there. I want quick, fair. A quick chapter. <laughs> uh, I want fair Baruch chapter four. Was to rule off the arm. You want to quote that? Um, yeah, I just read Baruch uh, four and twenty six. My pe my delicate ones have gone rough ways, and were taken as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto Paul, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from power, God. so being returned, seek him ten times more. Oh, it says, For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring God. you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Take good heart, O Yerashalom, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children served, as in Babylon, America. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad for thy of thy fall. Remember when they say race it, race it, Edom. Yeah. So shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude. The apostles and they did the works today, and they said, What they, they brought twice it was it came out. I I remember seeing um the movie of the planet of the apes. Mm. And and it, um you did it, you did it, you finally did it. Right? Yeah, I was like, wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For I will take away the rejoicing of thy great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. O Yerashalam, look about thee towards the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from power. Lo, thy sons, whom thou sentest away, they come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of power. Um, yeah. So, you know, I, I think the point was made, the point was made, you know, the three holy children, we have to have the faith of the three holy children because the, um, victory, the victory is really of the Lord's elect. You know, it's already written. It's, it's written. It's just to be fulfilled. You have a hell to go through, but guess what? At the end of that hell, at the end of that tunnel, is light and everlasting light and great joy and a release from oppression. Uh, all right, all right. So with that we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Double on us, apostles and others, great men, so our teachers who surely do well, and citations to the elect. Virgin in the truth and in sincerity. Of course, we full call it like that. They're just going to like to do so. Shalom to the left. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.